at Evans. Certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, it's overall a pretty decent weekend. The only fly in the ointment, if you will, will be at least a couple widely scattered showers on thunderstorms Sunday. It's a little resistant to put this in the forecast, but the new data in fairly good agreement. A front's going to try to sneak in here, move into our area, then move right back north. So at least a couple of these showers around, mainly north of Lafayette. Hot and dry through, uh, dry through the mid part of next week, though. That's the main weather story. Very high fire danger before... Showers and storms, courtesy of deep tropical moisture from Hurricane Carl affects us. Again, that's later on next week. We are fine tonight, though. Great evening for the frenzy. Perhaps a few high clouds arriving late. And temperatures right now starting to cool off for low to mid-70s area-wide now after 75 to 80 for the high this afternoon. So the 70s will hang on till about 7 p.m. But once the sun sets, we're down into the upper 60s at 8 and it's 64 at night. So it's shorts weather now. And then it's a light jacket, if you will. 50 for the low tonight in Rochester and Logansport. 49s in the eastern and southeastern areas. Everyone else, 51 or 52 degrees. And a nice warm day tomorrow with plenty of sun. Uh, perhaps a few more clouds in the afternoon. So we'll call it becoming partly cloudy tomorrow. 81 Winnemac, 80 Rochester, 83 Lafayette and Burlington and about 84 at West Point. And, of course, we've got the in-state rival. We've got the Ball State Cardinals and the Purdue Boilermakers duking it out tomorrow. The game starts at noon, and temperatures not so bad. Notice 72 at 10, noon at 77, but it becomes partly cloudy. It's 82 by 2 p.m. and by 4, 80 degrees. It will stay dry, no hint of any rain during game time. Notice on future cast, keep it on the clock up here. There's 4 a.m., Perhaps a few high thin cirrus clouds. It becomes partly cloudy tomorrow afternoon. There's one partly cloudy through the day. But notice, this is Sunday morning at 7 a.m. You'll notice pretty much Lafayette points north, at least a few widely scattered showers around. And through the day on Sunday, the front's going to move down like this and kind of sit here. A couple showers and storms along it. Then it's going to move right back north. Notice on the raincast, not painting a lot of rain per se. Notice up here to the north, generally a few hundreds, perhaps a tenth of an inch. There could be an isolated quarter inch amount up here. And on Sunday with the front about right here, a little cooler in our northern counties. Low 70s Rochester, but low to mid 80s along I-74. 51 fog patches later on tonight. 83 tomorrow, becoming partly cloudy. Winds out of the west and the southwest. And then you have it on Sunday, mainly north of Lafayette. A couple scattered showers and thunderstorms, but the front moves right back north, and we are bathed in a very warm desert-like air mass, high fire danger Tuesday, Wednesday. And thanks to Carl, we could actually get some showers and storms by Thursday and Friday. So it looks like most of the weekend will still be enjoyable with no real significant rain till later in the week. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't really cancel any plans, but there could be a couple pesky showers around Sunday. Not a real huge fly in your ointment. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. For now, <laughs> no. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again on Monday.